On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's going to make you sick. Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. So as you may know, because I mention it every five seconds, I have just moved to Camden in London. This here is my flat. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And to be totally honest with you, it is looking pretty bare right now. Just call this apartment Paddington because it is bare. Should have warmed up for that one because that one was a stretch. But I was thinking to myself in this little brain of mine that very, very soon a lot of you will be starting at university and moving into halls of residence just like this one. You know, students are very, very kindly letting me live in this apartment. However, this video isn't sponsored. I just wanted to renovate my flat, to be honest. And I think that when you move out, especially when you move to university, and especially during a pandemic where we can't leave the house as much, your space is so important. So I am going to, oh my God. Well, I, it's the circus all of a sudden. I don't even know why I did that. What I was gonna say is that I'm going to decorate my flat, but I'm gonna do it in the cheapest possible way. I'm thinking that little board over there has got DIY written all over it. So I'm definitely gonna try and do something there. I want neon lights, I want house plants, I want posters, I want iced tea imported from England, lifeguards imported from Spain. I want this room to be the perfect space and I wanna do it on a budget. So that's what this video is. I hope that's, I hope that's all right. If not, you're free to go. No one is holding you hostage here. I did do a full apartment tour in my moving in vlog, but this is my kitchen. Sorry about my washing up, just ignore that. Just pretend that's not there. Then we have the huge desk, my bed, and the bookshelves. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is this notice board because I feel like it will really really jazz up the room once I get that sorted and just because it's a board doesn't mean it has to be boring am I right ladies there was a point there somewhere but I don't I, I can't quite put my finger on what it was I bought this copy of GQ magazine with Billie Eilish on the front because she is just a legend we absolutely stand this has quite a lot of cool editorial pictures in which I can cut out and stick onto this board however I think I need to get one or two more magazines because I don't want to just make a shrine to Billie Eilish that is a bit Mm, no, no, that is weird. So I'm thinking I'm going to head to St. Pancras Station because there's a lot of newsagent kind of stores that have magazines. And I'm just going to pick up a few cheap magazines and chop them up and put them on the board. Okay, so these are the magazines that I've bought to cut out some pictures from. And look, look how cool that is. That's going to look so sick. So I already had GQ and then I also bought Vogue, which was £4. And then this little bastard. Basically, it's so cool, but it didn't have a price tag on it. So I was like, okay, like... It can't be more than, let's say, six pounds. You know how much this cost me? 12 pounds. 12 of my English pounds. 12 pounds of my hard-earned cash. But I was already at the counter and I'm too socially awkward to say no. So basically, this was way more expensive than it needed to be, but the damage is done. This better look good. To be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, you could definitely, definitely just print pictures from the internet. But um, we've come all this way now, so we're just gonna do it. Also, I've realized that my contact lenses are in the wrong eyes, so I'm a bit like, confused. Basically, I'm just going to cut out anything that looks cool and then we'll stick it to the wall. I also picked up this poster and when I say picked up, I mean like I saw it in the shop, liked it, went up to the till and bought it with the actual money. Like I didn't just I didn't just pick it up. I don't know if you can see. I don't know why I'm showing you because I'm going to I'm going to put it on the wall. So, oh, this is going to be satisfying. Mm, okay, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. And this was £10, although you can get stuff way cheaper. Like my university used to always have poster sales in Freshers Week or the first week of term. And you could get things for like two, three pounds. Okay, this wall is about to have the biggest glow up of the 21st century. Actually, maybe it's the second biggest glow up because Neville from Harry Potter, that was an impressive one. Anyway, it's going to look better in three, two, one. There we go. Looking quite spectacular, I think. So when I'm going through the magazines, I'm gonna try and cut things out that are similar-ish colors to this so that it sort of matches and looks a bit cohesive. To be honest, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Also, I'm starting to get very insecure every time I show my kitchen in the background because basically I posted a video last week where <laughs> I had just cooked myself a stir fry and granted half the stir fry was on the kitchen counter. My frying pan just wasn't big enough for the amount of stir fry I had put into it. And all the comments were like, what died in your kitchen? But I swear I had literally just cooked it. it. It did look bad to be fair. Okay, so I have all of my cuttings now. Am I pleased with how this went? Mm. I'll get back to you on that in like three to five working days. Basically what I realized is that I'm just terrible at cutting things out. I thought it would be fun instead of printing pictures to do this because it would be a bit like arts and crafts, but it was just Freaking stressful. However, I did find some gems. There are some really cool little pictures that I managed to cut out. How cool is this one of these two people just skinny dipping? Why not? And now these are gonna go on here.
Okay, guys, I kind of... I think I smashed it. I'm not gonna lie, I really doubted myself, but... I've executed this surprisingly well. We've got such cool kind of editorial photos of FKA Twigs and Billie Eilish and then also these different cutouts from the various magazines. I honestly think this looks so cool. It's also very colourful so I think it's going to tie in all of the different colours that I've got going on in my bedroom together and it just makes the room so much brighter. I am really quite chuffed with this. I actually... I'm kind of shocked. Like no one is more surprised that this went well than I am. As a duo, this is just... Incredible. I, I, I'm so pleased. I, I can't quite express it because I'm so shocked that it's gone well. Let me just tell you though, these little bastards did not make it easy. They kept snapping in half, they kept pricking me, it was... It was a real time. Honestly, it made it very stressful, but the end result is worth the pain. <laughs> if you are interested in more kind of DIY wall art ideas, then I have three of them in my book, The Universe. There's a whole section on like DIY cheap budget um, room decor. So yeah, check it out. It's on Amazon, Waterstones, WH Smith. I'll link it down below. Hello, so it is a new day. I just woke up. Yes, it is midday. No, I don't want to talk about it. The thing is, right, I'm too honest. I could have told you I woke up at 4am, I watched the sunrise, I went to the gym, I volunteered at the local orphanage. Like, you wouldn't have known. And yet here I am, being honest. And to be honest, I probably still would have been asleep now had I not got a phone call from my manager to say to go downstairs in my building and look, what was there? What is this? It's from Creme. It's a very swish bag. It's the kind of bag that I feel like I'll never throw away. It smells incredible. I'm thinking, basically on the back it says, I'll take you to the cookie shop. So I'm like, oh hell. This is gonna be exciting. So I just thought I'd film it because I'm so intrigued by what this is. This is so fancy. I don't think these are gonna be Maryland cookies. Jeez. Guys, this is so swish. <gasps> Oh my good lord. Can you see that? That smell that is penetrating my nostrils. Why do I say things like that? Oh my goodness. What? Okay guys, I can't even lie to you. Literally all I've achieved today is put this IKEA throw onto my bed and these two cushions. This one is from IKEA. This one was from Next, I want to say. It is also such a rainy day today. This is the view from my window of London, which is beautiful by the way. I am so obsessed with this city, although not as obsessed with the rain. And that is literally it. Today was just a complete write-off, so sorry. I don't know why I started filming today. I shouldn't have, but I'll be back in a couple of days for more renovations. Okay, so, um, I have different color hair now. That is confusing and terrible in terms of continuity, but basically some time has passed. I actually went home, back to my family home, because it was my dad's 50th birthday, so I went down for a couple of days. We went to the beach hut down on the south coast where they live, and it was just Lovely. I then chopped the blonde bits out of my hair because I feel like it's the end of my identity crisis now Like I've had enough of doing that and we're back to just being brunette again. What else do I have to say? Why did I turn the camera on? What is this video about? It's about decorating my room. So firstly, absolutely buzzing with that whole situation that's going on behind me. This poster here had actually dived off the wall onto the floor So when I came back in it was kind of at my feet um, so that was kind of annoying. However, having said that, one thing I realized was that I'm living in student accommodation. United students have very, very kindly let me live here. And in all student accommodation, because it's rented space and obviously other tenants need to move in as soon as I leave, um, you can't really stick things to the wall in case it damages the wall, or at least you need to use things like command strips or whatever. So I went downstairs to the reception and I asked them what the rules were and they said I could use glue dots. And then they were like, here, we have a whole pack in our drawer. You can have them. How nice is that? So thank you to the lady at the United students reception desk for helping me get that back on the wall. And also, I I brought some stuff up from home that I had in my previous uni room to jazz this room up a little bit. So I'll show you that now. I bought this lamp here in Ikea at the beginning of my second year of uni to help light up my room, I guess. That's the whole point of a lamp, right? And I always refer to it as my Florence Nightingale lamp because I just feel like this is the kind of thing she would carry minus, you know, the plug. I am fully booked on this shelf um, with books that I've got for a video I'm doing on Harry Styles reading recommendations. So I'm working my way through these at the moment, although reading very, very slowly because my current attention span is 15 seconds, which is incidentally the length of a TikTok. Honestly, the summer has completely corrupted me. Then I have this random ass arrow that I think I got in Flying Tiger Copenhagen and I just thought maybe it would look interesting on the shelf and I think that I was right. And then I have this mug. Oh my gosh, let me explain. Wow, two mugs in one shot. These spot the difference games are getting harder and harder, huh? So basically, I think these 
Pantone? 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 Pan this word, I don't know how you say it. Anyway, they make these super cool mugs and I was having a conversation with my girlfriend about how nice it would be to have loads and loads of different colours on a shelf. I thought that, that would look very nice. But equally, I don't want to just go and buy all of them. I thought it would be nice to collect them over time for significant events in my life. And that was just before my 21st birthday. Yes, by the way, I am 21. I know I look about 14 and behave like an eight-year-old, but um, that's beside the point. And so she bought me my first one, which was an orange one for my 21st birthday because the number on it is 021. And so then when my book came out, Sammy got me this one, which is like a coral color. And this was actually color of the year 2019, which is the year that I kind of wrote the book. And the color is actually a very, very close match to the color of my book. So that's the story behind this. And I think it is absolutely lovely. We have a shelf of alcohol. I don't want to talk about it. We're just going to ignore that. This is what students call interior design. But yeah, been working my way through that. So that's good. I also brought up a candle in case my room gets stanky and this big stack of youtuber books again for a youtube video that i'm doing and then here over on my radiator i have these ceramic succulents which i bought in ikea fun fact that i literally learned yesterday so the difference between a cactus and a succulent is that a cactus can grow a flower on it and a succulent can't listen who said this was not an educational channel i think that is pretty much everything i bought from home but i've also had some very very cool deliveries so i ordered these things from amazon and they arrived in the time that i was away did i mention that today's Sunday. Does it even matter? Why, why would it matter that today's Sunday? It doesn't make a difference to you. Anyway, well today's Sunday, so now we all now we all know, now we're all in understanding that today is Sunday. So these two things arrived and these are neon lights. This one is a lightning bolt. Zeus is quaking. That's one for you uh, mythology fans out there. Very niche um, part of my audience I imagine. And this one lights up red and I'm thinking it's gonna go, well, pretty much there and then the other one is a planet with a ring around it and this one lights up blue and I'll leave the links to each of these down below But I think they were between 10 and 15 pounds each so pretty affordable considering you know the they have quite a big impact When it's dark in the room These are gonna look sick and the plan for the blue one is to go in a part of the room that you can't see right now basically in the kitchen like here. What I'm thinking is that I can put batteries in it and then just stick it in this cupboard which currently has some chocolate and garlic in it. Sure, why not? And that will mean that the light is basically on the wall like that and then this battery cord will just be tucked away in the cupboard. I'm currently smacking it against my kitchen counter. Sorry about that. So I guess I'll be able to give you an update on that later on today. But right now I'm doing something very, very, very exciting and that is going to Columbia Road Flower Market which is only open on Sundays. That's why I wanted to tell you it was Sunday. That's why it's important that it's Sunday. It's only open on Sundays because I need some life. I need some greenery up in here. I want plants pretty much on every surface that I have. Previously in my uni house, I only had fake plants, which I, even those I struggle to look after, to be honest. Actually, having said that, even these ones that I have on my radiator cover get knocked off almost every day, and I'm incredibly surprised they haven't smashed yet. But now that I live entirely alone, I think it's time that I trust myself with some real plants. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the tube station and go and get some plant babies. I'm pretty sure they are considerably cheaper at Columbia Road Flower Market because I went to a garden center around the corner and they were like so expensive and for something that it's quite possible, in fact, incredibly likely that I will kill. It's not really worth investing loads and loads of money on it. So um, I'm gonna go to Columbia Road Flower Market and support local people and yeah. So let's go do that. So here I am at Columbia Road Flower Market. I was very overwhelmed because there were just so many plants and I ended up buying so many that I had to get an Uber home. So allow me to introduce you to my new family of plants. We have got two ivies, this thing, this succulent, this cactus. I don't know why I started doing this because I don't know the name of any of these things. This little spiky boy, another ivy, um, an aloe vera, a, another succulent, and then this odd thing. I am pretty much Alan Titchmarsh. And then we have the piece de resistance, the Swiss cheese Monstera, which I had one of these in my Durham student room and I actually did manage to look after this one, but I had to leave it behind because I just couldn't get it back to my house. So we're starting again with a new one and I got this pot from Ikea. I promise I will protect you, my love. Although I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of already gone a little bit wonky because of the Uber. Um, it had to go in the boot and it seems to now be at a little bit of an angle. When I bought it, it didn't really bend over like that. But you know, that's, that's nothing a little hard work can't solve. Okay, it is time to unleash the beast because these flop all over the place. Also, yeah, no, I still haven't done my washing up. Don't look at it. Maybe I could just pixelate it out and then you, then you don't even have to look at it. No one has to know. Okay, this is happening. Ooh. Oh, hey. 
In hindsight, maybe I should put the camera slightly lower down. <laughs> and what's exciting is that although this plant has already grown a little bit, as have I, from this point onwards, we're gonna grow together. And I'm looking forward to seeing us both flourish. Or perhaps more likely, I will kill us both. Look at that, how good does that look? Oh, I am pleased with that purchase. Anyway, here's my crotch. Okay, so we have fallen at the first hurdle. Who's surprised? Not me. And basically the plant pots that the plants come in are exactly the same size as the plant pots that I bought. So they kind of stick up like this. And I feel like that just isn't really the vibe. Although, having said that, that is probably about as color blocked as my hair was at the beginning of this video. But it's gone, we're over that. We're, we're done with that now. This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. And I just gotta say, I don't understand. You know what else I don't understand? Why have there been so many Sharpay Evans references in this video so far? Or maybe a better question is, why aren't all of my videos just about Sharpay Evans? I'm getting sidetracked, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so basically the thing is, I think I'm gonna have to do some gardening and basically repot the plants. And I was kind of hoping that wasn't gonna have to happen, but it's happening, so um, we're gonna go do that. Okay, right, here we go. Oh no, the soil is too big for the pot. Oh no, oh this is terrible. Um, can we just try and get rid of some of the soil? I'm, I'm gonna try and get rid of some of the soil. Okay, mission complete. I got rid of some of the soil. Hopefully that won't make them die. I don't know, I don't really think about that. What I did think about was how difficult it would be to explain what I was doing to someone who walked onto this common space that we share as I was doing that, but luckily no one did. Turns out I was being a little over dramatic before, which is very unlike me, but these are actually the only two that didn't fit in the pots that I bought for them, so the rest are actually fine. And I'm gonna put one in my bathroom and one above my bed. Okay, yes the boys! The batteries are in, how sick does that look? So I have this one here, and then we also have the red one over here. So now the moment of truth. Hey, hey! Oh my lord! Okay, that is freaking cool. And this one over here, do you know what? I'm chuffed, I'm really chuffed. Try and tell me this room does not have a cool vibe now. I feel like I'm in a nightclub. Big, dirty, stinking bass. Dirty, stinking bass. So if you need me, I'm just gonna be in here raving for the foreseeable future, probably to the Hamilton soundtrack, I won't lie. And also, because of this one, I can now do that TikTok thing, you know, where people do the euphoria, Transition where it's like still don't know my name. Well now I can do that. So I, I shall it would be rude not to okay It is a new day and I think that everything is where I want it to be in this room And so I'm ready for the grand reveal I mean, it's not that grand because you've kind of seen it all come together But I just wanted to do one big room tour to show you because I'm so chuffed with how this turned out So I finally did my washing up and this is the kitchen I mean, I haven't done an awful lot to this pretty much all I did was add that plant and of course this this awesome little planet uh, neon light. Then we pan to the rest of the room. Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm so chuffed with this, I can't even lie. So you come into the room and here I am. Oh, this is good fun. You can see both what I'm talking about and me while I explain it. So basically I have this hook next to the door which has my Daunt Books bag on it. Basically, wherever I go, this bag goes. It's just a really nice tote bag and also I've got my mask here because it's the new normal. This area definitely has a kind of green theme, but I've got the um, ceramic succulents there as well as my deodorant and my room key, which I need to not lose. I've done pretty well so far, but I'm trying to keep it here so that it's by the door. Every time I leave, it's always there. Some shoes down here. I have my Flame Converse, my gym trainers, and then just another pair of trainers. Then we have this little stunner over here. This, I just love these plants so much. You are beautiful. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise, okay? Then we come to my desk. I've just got my laptop, my London review of books, um, newspapers that I subscribe to, a little um, congrats on releasing a book card. What the hell? That's still so crazy to me. A succulent, this Japanese-inspired poster. Still absolutely praying that I get to go to Japan on my gap year. It's looking less and less likely, but that is going to keep me motivated that maybe it will happen at some point. I'm not going to make a joke about how this is my biggest fan. I'm not doing it. Not today. Do you see there how I made the joke by saying, I wasn't gonna make the joke. It's a scam. Two more plants and hand sanitizer. Hashtag the new normal. My pride and joy, this one good creative thing that I've ever achieved. My Nintendo Switch for playing Animal Crossing, my Jackademic Planner, these are available to pre-order now and are being sent out in September. My bedside table with my TikTok water bottle because you know I'm obsessed with TikTok. This is nothing new, this is not new information. And TikTok very kindly sent me that water bottle and yes, I do drink from it everywhere in public. Non-ironically, this is the book that I'm currently reading, my contact lenses so I can, you know, see, a lamp so I can, you know, see, my wallet and a plant, and then, woohoo, you are looking spicy, my friend. And that is just next to my bed and my bookcase. And then this is my little kitchen island, which again, I have another two copies of the London Review of Books. I have this image in my head that someone will just come and sit here and flick through 
No one ever does, but you know, the option is there. And yes, that is pretty much the final product. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed renovating my new London flat with me. I love it. It's the best place to be right now. I, yeah, I'm obsessed with this space. Thank you to you guys as well for even giving me the opportunity to live somewhere like this. Thank you to Unite students for putting me up here. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, I will leave links down below to the neon lights because a lot of people messaged me about them on Instagram when I posted a little photo of them. So I'll leave the links to those down below. Aside from that, I guess all I have left to say is if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe for more from me. We just hit 220K. <sighs> what the hell? I absolutely adore each and every one of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye Shitting hell. Forgot that that was propped up in my cupboard. I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.